Hi guys, this is me again, Dennis Hagoff, and our transport store you see dot sale. And today we have on our review, on my review, the King Song S18. So, new product, and our wheel with suspension from the company uh, King Song. Uh, my last review was about the in motion V11, so all my uh, feelings are fresh, still fresh about the V11. So now I'm testing the same road, uh, same condition, same track. I'm testing uh, the S18. So uh, now I am done about uh, one, one of uh, four of my trip. So it is about uh, 17 kilometers now. Uh, now done with this wheel and I will try to explain uh, fresh feelings and uh, try to compare to wheels V11 and this one from the Kingston. I will try to be honest and try to speak all how it is in real. So first of all let's speak about the overall look of this wheel, how this wheel looks, the production and the material quality and production quality and so on. So firstly of course when you see first time on the pictures uh, this wheel, this wheel looks very strange and very interesting. The futuristic design from the company uh, King Song, something new, something completely different and this is a huge, in my opinion, huge, huge plus to, to the King Song what they are experimenting with the design, with the wheel and do not, as I always say, I like the idea but the manufacturers do not uh, go uh, with one direction, with one design and so on so we are trying, we are searching and so on so this is a huge plus the suspension looks great. Uh, overall, uh, how, how uh, overall look is great, I think. Yes, but the plastic quality compared to V11 is very poor. We have cheap materials here, and of course, the overall how all this stuff here looks here and uh, here when you see the handle where these gaps uh, not. The plastic looks very cheap and this is for, for sure and I have here the black version and we are know what exists on the market two versions the white one and the black one I decided to have on review the black one uh, because in my opinion black one looks a uh, little bit more aggressive for the, for the men's for the riders so uh, here as we can see from on our side and this one was from the box as you can see this one looks like that and overall quality like you can see here I, ha I see the tape and it is just push the tape and the tape are going uh, and I see the tape here so two side tape to, 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 to handle all this uh, all these parts here uh, more about this wheel, about the suspension of course, I wanted to speak more about the suspension uh, and of course the idea to have a removable uh, shock and the, uh, gives you more potential to, to make the more adjustments to put here uh, expensive fix, uh, shock like the Fox for example and so on and this will be like the platform for the for the upgrades and i really like the idea what you can upgrade the some wheel and if you're searching for the perfect one solution you can just change for example in the v11 we cannot change and we just have a wheel from the box and you cannot make some upgrades and some changes you have it like like it is and of course the pushing the air in the both cameras here and negative chamber and the boy and the positive chamber are much more easier uh, to get access here uh, compared to V11. This is second one great plus and of course we have here the rubber this one and you can just put the rubber stay on the wheel and see the, how how much the suspension are going and you can calibrate this one very fastly and you see all the result immediately because compared to the V11 you need to ride more and just 
do it according to your feelings more when, when just doing it the correct way like you can do it here so second one in my opinion big plus for the S18 so I push it I made all adjustments and another great feature you have here the ability to, to lock the suspension one thing and another very important thing what you can you have ability in the shock to slow down or make the faster rebound of a, of a shock so this one ability are not existing in the v11 so you just need to play with both chamber to get the ideal working here you can just adjust in a few seconds just put the finger and adjust adjust the rebound speed great solution from the, from the company king song so this is the big plus here uh, overall about the suspension and how this uh, suspension working I of course I will go more I will try different uh, air pressure in the chambers now we will uh, set up according the, according the table and all parameters here according this one uh, rubber gap I see it's correct will working correct I try it uh, slower rebound, faster rebound. I already tried it in this in this kilometers I done so far with this wheel. So, anyway, as I can say, from the box to compare to wheels without any upgrades, uh, the suspension in the V11 uh, working better than the suspension in the S18. Uh, the huge bumps like where you're jumping or you're going on the on the uh, downstairs or you have a huge huge obstacles you need to, to jump or over jump so the suspension here working quite good and you feel it is working but the smaller one uh, obstacles and um, the bad road when you're going the, all these small 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 gaps and so, so on small small holes on the road the, feel, the wheel is not absorbing the s18 not absorbing this one uh, i tried as i said i tried so, so many times here to adjust something but still faster or, or not for slower rebound but i feel that the wheel is just jumping like the usual wheel like a normal wheel without suspension it's not working you're going fast speed you see the road begin to uh, how to how to say the road is not, not not ideal and I see so many so many so many small 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 holes on the road and I'm going on in on the speed because I was going same road with a V11 and V11 just going like the Mercedes Benz with a pneumatic suspension and you feel what the wheel is absorbing and you getting your pleasure and you feel that the wheel is working the suspension is working here small gaps small sort of small obstacles and you you wobbling and you you're jumping on the wheel like you like just usual wheel and here i can say the more worker doing the, the tire uh, 18 inch tire with a three inch uh, wide uh, doing better job than the shock doing uh, I'm thinking that uh, this is this problem is not about the um, suspension overall as a solution and the shock shock I think this shock is cheap but it's quite good uh, quite good shock uh, and I think it is working quite normal but the uh, overall idea is I think but all this connection stuff here here you see and here are not working smooth and um, the one of the biggest uh, dealer uh, for the Kingsong products, the company EcoDrift, uh, based in Russia, they made the uh, reassembling uh, from the box uh, for all these wheels, and they changing changing here so many parts and uh, putting the better better materials and after that as they said i don't do, do not try it with this wheel after such upgrades but as they said the wheel is working uh, the suspension working much better but these adjustments are not so cheap and it takes so many time to dis disassemble all the wheel from the box and reassemble it and made all these upgrades so anyway 
From the box V11 is better suspension and better working on the small obstacles here. From the box we have the only working suspension on the huge, huge holes, so it is not working. Or not working uh, as, uh, as good as the V11, so it is quite, quite clear now. We will see with the time, but now many riders pass it by 1000 kilometers with this wheel and according to uh, the reviews I see what the problems starting here and here from this side and of the heart uh, some damages appear of, uh, after the heart using and heart, heart, heart jumping and all the suspension begin not working correctly and even I with my wheel I pass uh, if uh, two days of about we put done with 50 kilometers and I <laughs> hear now the strange noise noises uh, go, go coming from the suspension when you're going and you hear the noises like so you hear you hear it with, you heard these noises so it is only 50 kilometers now so we will see what will be <laughs> and how we will we will, will, will look after with uh, 300 and 400 kilometers <laughs> and it still it will work or not we will see it so about the trolley handle and here we have an interesting thing first of all about the trolley it is really bad but uh, you do not have a trolley when it is closed you cannot grab the wheel immediately for example if you are going somewhere you jump from the wheel and you take it if, uh, if you are not uh, successfully going for example downhill you just can take the wheel you jump from it and then take it immediately so here you cannot take the wheel so fast and this is really bad Sometimes you need a handle and in my opinion you can play with a design with a new futuristic design but any unicycle ha must have a handle from the up uh, of a body to take it if you need it to do that immediately. So here we don't have that and this is the, the one of the bad point of uh, this wheel. Second one solution is very interesting when you're doing this trolley mode the wheel is not working normally but it is still the motor still working in the slow uh, in the slow position and this is interesting and I re really like this solution uh, because now you can this wheel is heavy and now you can just uh, push the wheel downstairs and upstairs and you don't need to, to take it with you you can just go with, with this wheel and the wheel is not starting spinning and not jumping you know when the wheel is in balancing mode so it is quite aggressively and you're going downstairs will begin to jump and begin, begin to spin so in this mode you can just go and that's really great overall handle is quite good height and it is comfortable to trolley it, it uh, see here no problem of course the solution as you can see all this handle is wobble and two small screws here one from the one side and another from another side as you can see and this still the same solution king song doing and they not teaching uh, at all and don't, don't do not teaching how to do that good and still present the same poor quality and that's i think is bad for the king song and uh, for the trolley about the pads and i don't know of course we saw the pictures of the wheel and uh, 3d pictures and 3d film when, when the uh, somebody's uh, like the uh, 3D uh, man staying on the wheel, white, white, white figure, and uh, the wheel is like this form is a form made for the perfect form for the leg, but uh, in in real it is not comfortable at all, and you are not staying like that with the legs. No, no way you're staying like that. Overall, you're staying your leg a strength, strength, strength here and the idea is what pedals uh, pedal length is good but the wide is very small and for example compared to the king song um, uh, 16x uh, the ideal position was from the factory and i like it so much when i first time stay on this wheel and i say yes this wheel is for me because you're staying like ideal the leg staying quite wide 
and you feel the uh, comfort no, you feel comfortable when you're riding on this wheel in my opinion of course but when I am staying on this wheel I want to put the legs much more wider but the pedals are very 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 uh, small in wide and tiny pedals and uh, my leg is overall when I'm going uh, half of the legs are just uh, uh, dropping in the air or something like like that just half of the leg are not on the pedal when I push the legs to, uh, on the pedals we immediately hear this pass begin to push my legs and I feel, feel that from the box the V11 compared to this one have a greater uh, geometry of the wheel you're staying and you're feeling what nothing is uh, bad for you nothing you trimming you and you're just staying and the pedals are bigger and more comfortable and the overall angle of the pedal are bigger here more like the V form on the V11 and this one solution gives you more abilities to go faster and go more extreme compared to the S18 so paths are not comfortable you definitely need to do something here to change the paths to the uh, to the much much uh, softer paths and of course you need to, to change the pedals for the custom pedals I think we will be uh, showing in the market soon wider pedals something like the, um, I was uh, did with uh, Z uh, nine bot Z10. Uh, you can see on the picture something like that will be great to have here. So overall, as I said, the wheel is very interesting, and this is, um, uh, in my opinion, it is uh, a better platform for the tunings and for the upgrades. So if if if, if you are a man looking for a wheel, you want to make upgrades to more, want to make it ideal for you. So S18 definitely will wheel for you. But if you are uh, looking for a wheel from the box, you take it from the box and just riding and getting your pleasure, and you don't want to spend so many days and time and spend additional monies for upgrading so the v11 is much more better in this case you just take it from the box the wheel looks complete the materials looks perfect and overall like the suspension are working it is much more better for the v11 for sure okay i will make more right and i will return to you soon
So guys, uh, 20, 26.5 kilometers are done now, so far. And what can I say and what I am uh, really see now, what the battery left only the 38%. 20, 26 kilometers and 38%. When I was uh, stopped here, I saw the percentage was 35, now the wheel is staying resting and so the persons are a little bit higher now so the battery just get rest but anyway as I can see uh, but my trip will be really short and uh, I was thinking what I will be able to done about the 45 maybe 50 kilometers but I see but with such a speed I will not do that and the second one very important point is what we will begin to the, the limit uh, the speed till the 40 kilometers per hour uh, on the mileage 22 kilometers. So I was riding here and it was good road and I pushing the wheel and I see that the speed is not not so big in my by my feelings, but the wheel is going up. I see that I take I take the, tele, uh, the phone and I see that I have. Uh, 22 kilometers and we're 40 and 41 and pedal pedals going tilting me back so that's really sad because we're comparing with a v11 v11 was able to go up to 47 kilometers per hour uh, till the 60 till the not 60 till the 50 kilometers i was done 50 kilometers and after that when the battery percentage left uh, less than the 20 percent so it limit me till till the 40 so anyway but it is huge difference almost twice uh, difference in the maximum speed because the 20 kilometers or 22 kilometers are really 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 not 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 so a huge distance uh, for, uh, for the such a big and expensive wheel this, this is one point very important and the second one point I want to speak about the overall the power, how this power is uh, giving uh, to to the wheel and overall the dynamics and characteristic how I my feelings when I riding in the high speed <coughs> and making the cornering with this wheel. So first of all I wanted to say that the, this motor 2.2 kilowatts uh, firstly was appear in the Kingsong 6 and X and with the earlier version of the uh, 16X with uh, Firmware 1.05 it was the, the, like the supercar and uh, in the UEC in the unicycle world and when I firstly tried this wheel 16X it, I was so impressed the wheel was so powerful so responsive, hard braking, hard accelerating and the power this wheel can produce are really amazing and uh, I we see here the same motor are of course the wheel is bigger now not 16 18 inch so the overall it is more harder for the motor to 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 give some some power to the wheel because of the diameter but anyway I'm still feeling this with motor and this motor is really great so if to compare both wheels the V11 and the S18 the S18 looks more aggressive and accelerating and braking more aggressively even uh, compared to the V11. So you need to understand what V11 is more for the safety. So it is it is acceleration is very smooth, but, but you if you want faster you need to push it more to go faster. This is more about the intuitive driving when you just pushing it a little bit and wheel starts accelerating immediately. So by the feeling this wheel is, uh, feels more lighter, how to say. So the motor is really great. But another point is the battery is really small and of course I was, as I can see now, my minimum battery percentage was the 17 uh, percent uh, per ride and the mean safety margin was only nine percent so from this 100 so I was very close to get this wheel for a cutoff and all riders need to understand so when you have a V11 you cannot afraid about the cutoff the wheel you just can ride it and you feel safe you know what the 
safety margin are much more bigger in the B11. So if you're riding the S18, you need to understand by yourself and feel that limits of the wheel. Because if you will over push it, the wheel will cut off immediately, and you will be, you will have a crash and you will have injuries for sure. So. I was riding a lot, I was riding more than 1000 kilometers with a 16X with a earlier version 1.5 and I was, uh, was not, not, not cut, uh, cut off this wheel and just I was exactly knowing the possibilities of the wheel so if, if I feel uh, what I am going to the wet limits I just stop pushing it and giving the wheel to, to rest. So this, this type of uh, tactics was successful for me for, <laughs> for many years and I do not cut off in the wheel. So, uh, about the overall feelings when you are going in the high speed and getting going in the corners. So overall feelings were V11 much more closer for the MS, MSP and MSX, MSP and so on with the big wheels from the Godway. When you're staying and when you're going on the, on the high speed like the 40-45 km per hour and you just give the wheel the direction, you give, you give yourself and the wheel the corner you want to, to get, you give this direction and the wheel going by this trajectory. So the V11 very good handling and a very very smooth and precision control in this place have and this one do not have such a smoothness and i feeling what when i am going to the corner i need to make some adjustments still need to make some adjustments uh, when i'm going cornering and the wheel was a little bit wobbling and shaking in the legs uh, uh, at that moment when I doing the cornering. I was pushing the wheel but I feel it is going to the direction and little bit back and back and I need to make this correction. So in this way going high speed and uh, pleasure ride the uh, correct and accurate uh, uh, driving or riding are will be uh, more in the V11, so the S18 is here is the worst. So I will continue my trip. I think my trip will be very short now, as I can see, 30% left of the battery. So and I will give you my final conclusion. And one more I wanted to say what about the pedal. So a uh, big plus in S18 is what you can re uh, adjust the pedal pedal H. So you just need to screw here and screw some uh, two screws, and you can uh, rise it up or rise it down or go, going it down.
So guys, final part of my review, final conclusion, my opinion and my final my word about the King Song S18. Uh, overall trip took me till the 0% of the wheel took me 48.2 kilometers. 48 kilometers I done with this wheel. But there is one interesting moment you need to understand. First of all, average riding speed for of all this trip is only 24 kilometers. So if you remember my last review. Uh, about the V11, I was saying that my trip was 69 kilometers and the average speed was 31 kilometers. So, huge difference uh, here, m more than the 6 kilometers per hour in average speed. And this is the most important part of my review. The first 20 kilometers was really fun to ride. Yeah. The performance the motor can provide is really great in, the, in this wheel, I can say you honestly. But after the 20 kilometers, the speed, uh, the battery dries and the speed is reduced to till, till the 41, maybe 42 kilometers per hour. And I was feeling when I was riding, with, I, um, as I saw on the application, and when I first time feel this tilting, tilting the mileage was only 22 kilometers so about the 20 kilometers was done fast and after that i was able to reach only 41 kilometers per hour and when the speed is reaching you just feel it, feel that the pedals go up so that was it and the last uh, 10 kilometers not last but the after that after the 20 10 kilometers more was quite fun not so good not so good like v11 not so good like the 100 volt for sure but was quite good the speed was normal not so fast the, the wheel is sometimes bibbing me tilting me uh, so but still the trip was good so overall 30 kilometers was done quite good 20 very good and 10 more quite good but after the 30 kilometers when the battery dries, uh, I don't remember now, but the drying was quite quite big, and the power and the speed was begins to reducing. And overall, last last 10 kilometers here near my my house, I was down very slow, and last uh, six percent uh, of a battery the wheel is always beeping tilting me back and I, the speed was very low and just it, it is not riding anymore it is like a hell on the, on the wheel you, you are going and you feeling what the battery will cut off you anytime you just push it and wheel will immediately beeps be beeps be beeps to you be beeps to you and you're going you're going 20 and less and less and beeping you're going on the corner trying to push it beeping 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 so in normal situation as i see that like we're in motion uh, and the god we are doing uh, in this case in motion is better but uh, in motion will will stop stop going because the batteries is so so dry and just uh, for the security reasons it's better to stop stop working but the king song provides you provides you a possibility to go with, with, with this wheel but it is on your risk so as I said the 30 kilometers was good and fast quite fast rest uh, 18 kilometers was was nightmare and I even cannot compare with V11 where I was able to go 50 kilometers trip with a maximum speed 47 kilometers per hour in all this range and after that the speed begin to reduce me and 10 more kilometers till 60 kilometers overall I was able to done on the speed till 40 so the overall fun with V11 was the, with a much more faster average speed was 60 kilometers of fun riding and 9 kilometers just going uh, to drive completely the battery so here we have uh, twice less possibilities with this wheel and with uh, 
almost the same price on the market for the both wheels I see clearly but in this case the V11 is much better much better product and of course about the suspension I was trying to make more adjustments I was reducing the negative uh, chamber more pushing more in the up and so on in the, in, in the down in, and try it different different types of uh, calibration but overall the situation is the same so my conclusion about the King Song S18 this is not exactly a wheel with, with a suspension it is more, more like a hybrid car when you have an electric car electric motor and the non normal gas petrol motor inside and the hybrid system just uh, not provide you full like you have full abilities to go with electric car but hybrid system is gives you uh, additional support and, and uh, reducing your overall consumption of a fuel so in this case the hybrid is like you're mostly you're going uh, in the normal conditions in the bad road but not hard of roading and not jumping from the ramps and so on so mostly you are going with a wheel uh, just the feelings you are going without the suspension for sure I cannot uh, calibrate it correctly adjust it correctly uh, to to get the to get the performance when you what I was able to get with V11 when you're going on the small obstacles and the suspension is just working and you feel that the, all these small bumps are reduced by the suspension so here you're mostly of the time you're going without suspension but if you have a big big hole or if you need to jump somewhere or over jump or, uh, and so on then the suspension is working so you're jumping you're feeling where suspension is work works and all this hard working or you know, hard job when you need to do by yourself for example when you're going uh, downstairs uh, for sure this going much more smoother and I feel that the suspension is working yes it is helps but it's not working and not helps uh, with a casual riding and I was so many situation was and I remembered this trip with V11 and I Remember what V11 was just passing this passing and I don't need it to worry about it But this wheel is not working like that for the heart. Yes for the casual small and so on No, so maybe maybe as possibility as concept You can change all these bearings here for the, for, for the better one change the shock and so on and the, uh, the wheel will work uh, normally but if we're talking about the taking both wheel from the boxes like it is from the factory for sure v11 is complete product the s18 is not complete product for me it's like more like the demo model with all this stuff like we always see now here and here with all these plastics and so on it looks like not complete product so maybe if the king song uh, will make upgrades and the, the engineers will will do all these solutions uh, to fix uh, all this suspension to work my, much more smoother maybe yes this will have potential i don't say that the s18 is a bad wheel it is not bad wheel it is very interesting wheel but it is not completed not completed this will have potential but not completed so if you are looking for the wheel you want to make some adjustments to make some tuning and you want to sit with this wheel spend some time and make it better so yes why not to buy s18 but if you are just a rider and you want to get the pleasure from the box definitely v11 is better faster and almost twice more range here so this is my final conclusion about this one wheel thank you once more for watching this is was Dennis Hagaf our transport store you see that sale see you guys thank you